Hello guys and welcome to Plus Eco. Today I will give you the information that you need in order to set up Unity Collaborate. If you are not familiar with that name, usually big companies use like Perforce or GitHub, but Unity have a, a built-in source control and that is Unity Collaborate. So for set up this source control, all you need to do to set up this is in your project. You have this icon here and this is for collaborate and it says you need to enable collab and here you have a cloud that is to manage service we can press either one i will press this one and here we have collaborate and you can see that at this moment this is off so we'll press here and it says that we don't have a unity project id uh we all we need to do is create a unity project id here uh, and if I press here to select an organization, I can select plus equal and create project ID. And now it says that project was linked successfully. And I can press this to turn it on. And now we have is doing some stuff here. Preparing our our project and I think it's done now what we need to do is close this and you can see a little arrow there right you have files to publish because we have our project and you can see that everything in our project have a plus sign and that means that we are adding this to our project it's not in the cloud yet so all you need to do is come here select all of them input something like usually people can input something like this or or put the department uh, that you are doing the for example you can put like programming or so on in this case i will just put one uh, first commit usually this is called commit uh, you can call this first commit uh, first submit publish you can call it many names actually I will leave it like this and I will put publish and now this uploading to the server and now it's gone it's updated here we have the history you can see here the changes that were submitted and for example if I duplicate my object you can see the plus sign there again and we have here the share one prefab that was created and we can publish again and that that is really good for organizations um, I think Unity let us have like uh, three seats. Uh, that means that three people can use this for for free. More than that, you can have you should you should have another another Unity service like the the Pro or something. For the most free version, we we can have three people. I think uh, in the project, and this is very good for people that are in university. For example, I use this in my university project. Oh, one thing you can also. Uh, discard the toggle changes here uh, or revert in order to make uh, your bigger changes disappear and we can go to the dashboard into the browser and let's go to collaborate we have here 3d basics you can see for example the assets here and for example, I, I can find my my shared prefab here, and we can go also to organization, organization settings, and here you can manage uh, the organizations that you have. You can, for example, add people into your organization, like let's see members and groups. And if I want, I could add a member here. Just put in invite member. Uh, you put the email. Here we have the role that you want uh, the your members to be, and this change their permission to do stuff inside the organization, and then you can just uh, send them an invite and they will join the organization, and that way they can also download the project in their end in their in their computer and so on. But yeah, that's it for this video, guys. I hope you guys learn how to how to set up this source control that is Unity Collaborate. Again, this is pretty useful for small teams. This can prove very useful. So that's it. 
thank you guys a lot for watching. Remember to leave a like and subscribe if you didn't yet. And I will see you in our next tutorial. Thanks a lot.